It's a great honor to be here. I'd like to start by thanking the government of Indonesia for their commitment to host these important meetings in the wake of the terrible tsunami and earthquake in Sulawesi. Indonesia is once again showing the world that it's a strong, resilient, and determined country. These annual meetings focus on important issues facing the global economy. But too often, we find ourselves focused on short-term issues. We at the World Bank Group are focused this week on two long-term issues that are critical to every country, developed or developing, rich or poor. The first is climate change. Climate change is an existential threat to global development and efforts to end poverty. The second issue that requires countries to take the long view is human capital, the knowledge, skills, and health that people accumulate over their lives. We need to fundamentally change the urgency with which we invest in our people. That's why today we're launching a new tool to help make the case for these investments, the first human capital index from the World Bank Group. This index gives policymakers compelling evidence that delivering better outcomes in children's health and learning can significantly boost the incomes of their people and shape the direction for their countries far into the future. Policies to build human capital are some of the smartest investments that countries can make to boost long-term inclusive economic growth. There, there are other indices that look at inputs. What's the percentage of GDP that you spend on health or education? This is completely different. Right? You cannot increase your budget and get better on the human capital index unless you improve your outcome. Right? And so our hope is that this index will change the way we think about health and education. We really do feel that there's no excuse to not invest in your people. Thanks very much, everybody.